Hi, I'm Unique Model, aka Shante Renee P for Positivity, and this is a channel for love and healing. I want you to know that love begins with you. I'm late, but you know, love begins with you. <laughs> Be the love you want to see manifesting your life, and it will come. So this is my Read My Book With Me If You Please series, uh, my ultimate act of vulnerability. Uh, my book is available on Amazon Kitty P. I'm under Shante Powell. And we are now in, um, still in chapter May 2020. And this poem is called, Pain Produces Great Works. Why is it that I have to be in pain to voice my pains? Why do my greatest works come from such dismay? Why is it that when I'm at my weakest, my inspiration is at its peak? Torn out of my soul like a faucet that has a leak. It leaks ever so often, not as much as it used to. My emotions at times would cause the floor to fall through. Falling through the layers until reaching the foundation. Falling to the earth and all her creations. As I return these pains from whence they came, I have to get rid of them to keep from going insane. Insane is where I've been. Insane has been a place that I have remained. But insanity should only be a pit stop, I agree. Some of us will admit it from time to time, I see. Although some will not, and that is their choice, but Sharon's one story can help some of us rejoice to let someone know they are not going it alone. All of us are on a journey to find this place called home. Maybe once we get there, peace will wash away the pain. I'm hoping someday I find my way there, praying daily. I refrain from going insane. So, as I said in a previous video, um, as I came in contact with this person, my spiritual gifts like just started going ape shit, basically. Um, I had moved in with my father around that time. And the first night I was there, I woke up to someone yelling at me. It was like a man yelling at me. I couldn't understand what he was saying. And I'm looking around the room, it's dark. I don't see nobody. Like, okay. Fall back to sleep. Hear it again. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, go back to sleep. Then I hear this child's voice saying, hello, hello. I'm like, uh-uh, no, we, we ain't doing this. The fuck? We not doing this. Why y'all talking to me? <laughs> And I remember my cousin, she had came in the house once and she was like, uh, I'm not going back in there. I don't like the energy. <laughs> it was like, what? What's wrong? So I tried to sage and, you know, Palo Santo and, you know, did your little prayer. You walk around the house and, you know, try to let out stuff, but you can't open the windows in the house. So all of them to let the energy entities, whatever's in there. You can't let them out properly. So after about a month or so, I was like, come, come back in the house. Just come in and see, see what's going on. You know, see what you feel. So I'm in the house. I think I was fixing a lunch or something. Drinks, who knows? So she goes outside and you know, I come out a few minutes later. She was like, I'm not going back in there. I'm like, bitch, why? <laughs> She said that that uh, voice, hello, hello. Uh, I was like, bitch, you heard it too. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that was confirmation. Um, she said, yeah, I don't talk to spirits that I don't know. <laughs> I was like, they always try to talk to me, I don't get it. Why, <laughs> why? <laughs> so, me being who I am, um, we lived across the street from graveyards. So one night I decided to go over there. I said, look, and I know this sounds crazy as fuck, but I'm going to tell you what I did. <sighs> Me, because I'm very inquisitive. I went over there and I looked for a child's grave site. Found one. That was about the age of the child that I heard. Found one. I was like, okay. And then another time, because I had to go into daytime. Then another time, 
I was like, you know what? Look, y'all need help crossing over. I'll help you. Just don't wake me up. This is some bullshit. Yeah, like seriously. And yes, I know this sounds crazy. Yeah, I know. But um, one of the spiritual advisors I had talked to, um, she was like, oh, okay. Well, you gave them boundaries. I'm like, yeah, I, mm -mm. I'm already having a hard enough time trying to detach from my societal diagnosis. <laughs> Y'all wanna come talk to somebody. <laughs> like, no, nah, we ain't doing that, <laughs> okay? So, yes, spiritual, spirituality is real. Ghosts, energies, spirits, all that shit. Yes, it's real. And when I say things to my, some people in my family, they're like, girl, all right, what you a psychic now? No, I ain't saying I'm a psychic, but I'm just saying. Things happen and I can't explain it because I can't see it or I couldn't see it with the physical eyes. So, and you can't hear it with the physical ears. Just saying. So all those people out there, you may not be what they say you are. I'm just saying, you may not be that. Look, huh? You can look at your birth chart. You can go within, meditate. Because at one time, well, I'm starting back to do it now because I don't have no choice. But you know, you meditate, you ask questions, you go into meditation with intentions. Um, you can use music, you can just do quiet. Some people say you can walk and meditate. I guess I do that too, because I was walking a lot too. Um, and just thinking, talking. Try to get in touch with your higher self. Um, start doing research on sp spiritual awakenings. Um, very interesting. Very interesting and comforting to let you know that you're not alone. A lot of people are actually going through this right now. Um, and this is actually part of my purpose, which is crazy because I see the last, I'm looking at the last part of my book and is less poems and more of my dreams and visions. And I'm just like, Ooh. they set you up, girl. They set you up. And had I been shown what I would be doing, if they would have shown me fully, I still don't know the full aspect. I get a little bit here and there and yeah oh so this one i'm doing next okay because if they would have shown me everything at one time i'm like no not me who doing that you bitch you <laughs> yeah so um that's all i have and you all have a good day cindy you love and healing i appreciate you Oh, I never say this because I just don't think about it. Subscribe, like, share. If you like what I talk about. I can be a little off at times, but hey, who isn't? All right, sending you love and healing. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.